Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about one of the application of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is non-existence of electrons inside the nucleus. Heisenberg's, we know that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle which states that uh, we cannot simultaneously specify the position and momentum of a microscopically small particle. That is, there will be some minimum uncertainty. If we try to specify the position of a microscopic particle with this certain accuracy uh, then there will be some uncertainty in its momentum and vice versa that is if we specify the momentum with a certain accuracy there will be some uncertainty in its position this is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle now we can use the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to show that the electro electrons cannot exist inside the nucleus the uncertain mathematically we can write the uncertainty principle as that that uh, delta x into delta p x greater than or equal to h cross by 2 where delta x is the uncertainty in position and delta p x is the corresponding uncertainty in momentum in the x direction. So in order to uh, explain the non-existence of electrons inside the nucleus suppose that first of all we are going to suppose that electron exists inside the nucleus. So, if electrons exist inside the nucleus, then the minimum uncertainty in its position will be the dimension of the nucleus. Uh, in order to prove the non-existence of electrons, first of all, we are, we are supposing that electrons exist inside the nucleus. So, when the electrons exist inside the nucleus, the minimum uncertainty in its position will be the nuclear dimension. Usually we specify nuclear dimension uh, as Fermi or nuclear radius will be in the order of Fermi that is equal to 10 raised to minus 15 meter. So nuclear radius is 10 raised to minus if we take nuclear radius to be 1 Fermi or 10 raised to minus 15 meter the entire dimension or the uh, entire dimension will be the diameter of the nucleus that is 2R. So, minimum uncertainty in position will be equal to the diameter of the nucleus that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 15 meter. Now, we can write that uh, from the uncertainty principle delta x into delta p equal to, uh, sorry, greater than or equal to h cross by 2. Uh, where delta p is the uncertainty in momentum. Uncertainty in momentum will be of the order of momentum p. So, here we can write delta x into p will approximately equal to h cross by 2 for simplicity. We can take the equality here. So, p will be approximately equal to h cross by 2 delta x. So, we can substitute the value of delta x and simplify now kinetic energy of a moving particle is related to momentum by p square by 2m. From this expression we have obtained an expression from the uncertainty principle we have obtained an expression for the momentum as h cross by 2 delta x. So here 1 by 2m into substituting for p square 1 by 2m into uh, h cross by 2 delta x whole square. Substituting the value of mass of electron 9.1 into m equal to 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg. H cross equal to h by 2 pi and h equal to h equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second. And for delta x we obtain a value equal to approximately equal to 96 mega electron volt so if an electron uh, if so if electron exists in the nucleus then the kinetic energy of the electron is of the order of 96 mega electron volt according to uncertainty principle but from experiments we have observed that the kinetic energy of electron 
electrons ejected from the nucleus is only 4 mega electron volt so such a large amount of energy uh, so uh, so an electron having such a large amount of energy cannot exist inside the nucleus experimental values suggest that the electrons will have only kinetic energy of the order of 4 mega electron volt so uh, from uncertainty principle we obtained a value uh, great approximately equal to 96 mega electron volt so such a particle cannot exist inside the nucleus this is the uh, proof of non-existence of electrons inside the nucleus using uncertainty principle